Um, let me close by saying that uh, it, it's, it's a wonderful challenge in that clearly we are bringing science to the table uh, and using it to, to, to create designs that are really going to impact our futures. But when you're dealing with land for people conservation, it's not simply about biodiversity. It's not simply about hydrology. It's also about what people care about. It's about their relationship with place. It's about uh, their relationship with land, with nature, and with each other. And so going into the future, things that we'd like to do to make sure that we're being more responsive in this, in this geo-design process is to have some kind of a wiki that allows us real time or very quickly to get people's relationship with those places that doesn't necessarily come out when you sift through data because those relationships are very, very important to communities in terms of their sense of place. The other thing that we'd like to do, uh, we think is absolutely critical to do, is to insert climate layers of climate impacts into every green print that we do. It's so important to the extent that we're able to do it, and that's one of the challenges, is to bring it down to a very local level for people to really understand the implications of climate change and what that is going to mean to their local landscape, whether that's you know, disappearing wetlands or sea level rise or rainfall. But the more we can do that, the more we can help to educate communities and the more they can take that into consideration uh, when they're making their plans. So I'm going to stop there um, and, um, and just thank you for all you're doing in your different areas. We're looking forward to learning from you over the next few days. Uh, and thank you. <laughs>